Okay, I've had my painkillers. I've got myself a nice cup of tea. I'm ready to do this now. Hello, it's Jack here from Power Pack. I thought I'd do a quick channel update video because I haven't done one in a while and there's been some big changes on the channel, I suppose. God, yeah, I lasted one about a year ago, something like that. This update video is probably going to be a little bit longer than the other ones because we've got uh, some stuff to cover, but we'll just see how we go. Really, I'd love to just start things off on a wonderful positive note, but unfortunately, I've got a different positive that I need to note. Yeah, so I've got COVID and God, it sucks. It really sucks. I don't even know how else to like express that. I tested positive for it uh, last Saturday. Uh, I'd already been ill with what I thought was just a cold beforehand. You can hear it in the uh, video I did. There's just a few pieces of voiceover which sound notably more congested than the rest of it. I had taken a few lateral flow tests beforehand, but they were negative, but positive now. I've popped that COVID cherry and it's awful. I've been getting what I'd say is like uh, flu-like symptoms. Things have just been like congested mostly. That's the worst of it, honestly. If you know like the Albanorix from Elden Ring, that's what I feel like. It's been making me so much more tired, just so much more bleh feeling and no, I do not recommend this at all. I am triple vaccinated and I'm feeling better today, honestly. This is like a good day. This is actually the third time of me trying to do this video because the other two times I get like halfway through and just think, uh, no, I don't have the energy for this. I've just been resting mostly, uh, just hoping that this will all blow over. I do consider myself fortunate that it is not affecting me as seriously as it has other people, but we're just going to have to keep going and see how we go from here. By the way, if you're seeing that like wooden thing next to my wardrobe, uh, that's for my cat. He likes to sleep up on top of the wardrobe. And he's an old man, he shouldn't be jumping up to the top of the wardrobe, but Grandpa ain't gonna listen to us, so gotta help him out somehow. But it's not all COVID sickness and cats jumping on my wardrobe. Iron Lung! Uh, as of recording, it now has 3 million views. Holy crap. Over 3 million. It might be 3.1 by the time this video actually goes out. I am just over the moon by the response it has gotten. Like, it's not just people watching the video, it's people liking the video, enjoying it. It's incredible, the amount of people, the amount of nice comments I've received regarding it, and thank you very much. It's surreal, honestly. Like, I was slow working on the uh, other video I've done since then, the Last of Us multiplayer video, uh, because I just kept looking at, like, the analytics, like, there's no way it keeps doing this. There's no way all these people are just watching my video, but it is. It was real. It's all happened. I even got messages from the developer himself, David Shemansky. Shemansky. I believe I'm saying that right now. I was saying Zemansky, but that's apparently not correct. My most popular video and I'm saying the person who made the game's name wrong. Damn. Wait a minute, I should check if that's actually right. The Dusk Dev himself, the Chonk Money Man, David Szymanski, David Szymanski, David Szymanski, Szymanski. Hello. I'm never listening to people again. But like, I've even had like people I know in real life come up to me and say, I've seen your video, that was you on my like recommended feed. And it's like, what? How is, what? But, mm, no, I... <laughs> But I'm trying to just keep uh, a level-headedness about this. Um, over the moon that this has happened, over the moon that like YouTube decided to bless me in its all-knowing algorithm, this sort of thing will probably never happen again. So I just want to keep making videos as normal, um, just like how I wanted to, basically. And there's a ton of videos I want to be making. I'm got like three in the works right now at like different stages of production. Two of them even were meant to be out before the last video I did but I got suddenly nervous about scaring people off with these like 
old retro graphics and stuff. I'll still do them in the future, I've got a lot to say on them. I have received quite a few comments of people saying that they're looking forward to me doing more horror stuff, and yeah, absolutely I'm gonna do more horror stuff. But I do like a wide variety of genres, it just so happens that like, I did two horror titles very close together. I suppose The Last of Us is kind of a horror-ish kind of thing. Although the only horror in the multiplayer is that tactical shotgun. But as I say, I play all sorts and I want my videos to reflect that. These reviews that I'm doing now, um, I've done reviews in the past. You can look at my old channel and look at my old videos and be shocked about where I am now. But these videos feel honest. They feel like the kind of thing that I want to be making, if that makes sense. Uh, and I'm just happy that people have been enjoying them, that people have been interested in what I've had to say. So I want to keep doing that, and I want to keep being honest by covering everything I'm into, which is kind of everything, really. I've been making videos for so long that I'm happy that I'm able to use everything that I've managed to, like, learn over these years and just put them into something that, um, again, people like. I'm really happy about that, and I just want to keep going. Right, I'm starting to repeat myself, so I need to look over in my notes again. I need to keep notes because I've got, like, the brain fog thing and it's been terrible for me. But thank you to everyone who has said such nice and kind things in the video. Uh, and doubly thank you to everyone who has made comments about the state of the chicken in the video. Oh, all your comments are just making me stronger. Keep making comments about the chicken. I ate that chicken. I'll do it again. <coughs> Please keep making the comments to make me stronger. I need the strength right now. I made it this far into the video without coughing. I'm quite proud of myself. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it for the reviews and stuff. I'm just gonna keep plodding along and we'll see where we go from here. Uh, there is another point I want to address though, and that is Life is Strange Abridged. You know, it's the most of the videos on this channel if you look back at it. Uh, hello everyone from the old days. So I started Life is Strange 2 Abridged last year and it's been basically silent. I did that like little fun uh, Dark Souls 3 Max video. Um, that was nice, but I've uh, been kind of quiet since then. So I just wanted to let you guys know about what I'm going to be doing with this. I'm not finished with Life is Strange 2 Abridged just yet. I'm not saying that just because I've started doing these reviews that I'm going to just never finish it. Because honestly, I have some great ideas that I really want to get to. There's a lot of things I want to do with this, and it was fun making those videos, and I'd like to go back to it and do it again. There's just one problem, and that problem is Life is Strange 2, Episode 2. I have been just trying to make this episode funny for so, so long. I have made a script. There is a script written. And it's just not funny enough. And I've been trying and trying and... It's so difficult. And I mean, a lot of it is coming down to the fact that I don't like Life is Strange 2 Episode 2 specifically. I think it's probably the worst episode in like all of Life is Strange. Um, hey, you, do you like this road trip we're going on? How about we stay at Grandma's house for an entire month? Hey, do you like that dog in the first episode? Well, screw you. Oh, I, hate, I hate what they do with the dog. It's just so mean. Like, needlessly mean. And yeah, it's like, how do I make this funny and like, make it funny in an interesting way as well? I don't want to do anything like, tired, like, oh, it's just old people. It's like, the, the, we can't do that for the whole episode. It's not funny. But it's also an important enough episode that I can't just skip it. So, yeah. It's annoying because I've got like, tons of ideas for episode three. Episode four will be an absolute riot if I get to it, but I need to do episode two somehow. I want to still finish it, but it is hard for me, it's tricky, and uh, yeah. If I ever do decide not to continue Life is Strange Abridged, I'll tell you. I will let you guys know, but for now, yeah, it may come, I just don't know when, but 
I suppose I didn't know when before I started doing these reviews and stuff again. Uh, so you can't exactly call it delayed. Heck, this isn't even the longest gap between episodes yet. Ugh. But I would like to finish it, as I say. I oh, don't expect that uh, Resident Chloe video, though. Uh, I did actually start making it. It was like half finished, and then I just rewatched it. I was like, this isn't funny. Uh, the big thing I was going to do is like Chloe's being chased by a giant Among Us instead of uh, Nemesis. But it wasn't funny. It just put it out of your mind. And I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, thank you to everyone who has been supporting me whether it's been for all these years or just recently hello and thank you uh, i'm going to be working on getting better but you can expect more videos to come uh, i don't know how soon but i don't really want to just uh, sit down and do nothing so hopefully sooner rather than later if you want to hear more about how I'm doing, I do have a Twitter. There's a, it's in the description, so you can just follow me on that. At least until it turns into just endless Tesla tweets or whatever is going to happen. And yeah, more to come soon, hopefully. So uh, stay safe and have a good one. See ya.